look the other way Sun is out, but the sky is gray What would happen if I took a chance? Uh, we are going to Cebu Our flight costs about £44, I think yeah, It cost us that. more because of our baggage We had to pay 400 pesos more for our baggage when we get there, we've got to get a taxi to a bus terminal where we can hopefully get on a B van or a bus to Morbon. Just get them birds over there. <laughs> so we'll see, because we can't book anything online. I have no idea what the timetable is. Apparently it's only from the minibus you go. Um, it's probably going to be very cramped. The journey takes about three hours. I've got no idea how much it costs. Worst comes to the worst, we'll have to get a taxi, which will be about 3,000 pesos. Yeah, so it's looking good, really. It's, yeah, looking... It's not easy travelling the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely probably one of the harder places we've been. I'm literally just going off what I can see online on forums that other people have done, so... Yeah, stay tuned on how to get to Mobile from Cebu Airport. <laughs> Love a Christmassy airport. There's our little propeller plane. Not again. Oh yeah. So we get the taxi, and then the taxi will take us to the van station and then we'll hopefully take them to mobile. Hello. Uh, we're just booking through Grab again. Uh, it should be around 400 pesos, we think. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have reservation there? Yeah. So we've just got to Malbol. Malbol. And this is our little hotel room. It cost £86 for four nights. Yes. So about £10 a night each. Well, a little bit over. Just over £10 each a night. Again, there is cheaper options, but we booked last minute. Yeah, I'm going to wait for these to come back. We are off to the beach. Oh, a bit loud. Why are we going to the beach? We're going to go and see some sardines, hopefully. Someone says online they've, they're not around now for like the first time in like 50 years. <laughs> Which is just typical. Yeah. But if but they're not around, we're going to go see where sardines were. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently there's so many turtles that it's impossible to not see one as well, so we'll see about that. We do love a good turtle. Yeah. Hmm? That was a nice finisher. So we've just rented a pair of snorkels. You can usually get them for about 100 pesos each yeah, in most yeah. places, that's what we've paid. It's like £1.30. Yeah. It's not bad at all. It's definitely a lot better than t lugging one around with you all the time. Um, they were also doing slip, uh, flipper rental for 100 pesos. So 
If you haven't seen anywhere else, it makes me feel like we're probably going to need flippers, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll just see. Oh yeah, also, it's been raining. So we'll probably go in the water and it'll start raining. I fell over. Lovely weather. Lovely, lovely weather. So many sardines. Uh, they will tell you that you need a guide, but we literally saw them pretty much just beyond that little cabin, floating if cabin thing. Swim, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, it's just it's just literally all where those boats are. So not all even are basically. yeah, not even ten meters or so into the water. Three quarters of that anyway. Yeah. It's only the last bit where you can't touch the floor, but as long as you can swim. It's one of the best routes for being on to dive. Even though to look at it, you wouldn't think or see anything because it's not like your typical crystal clear blue water, like where you can see the coral and stuff. But yeah, underneath is so clear and it's just full of animals everywhere. And the and coral's the not that lively. No, not but that dips, bright. It dips off, doesn't it? There's loads of sea turtles. We've got the main one. Yeah. Sea turtles. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't see many of them. <laughs> no. I saw quite a few. And there's a dog swimming in the water over there. So, you know, but basically a seal. <laughs> this is Sardine Point and that's Sea Turtle Point over there. But you will, like they literally say, there's that many sea turtles here, it's impossible to not see one. So, and we've seen, I think I've seen about five just then. I've seen about three or four. You can see thresher sharks here occasionally as well. Without having to dive. Um, Sometimes you come up and get these sardines. We've not been lucky enough to see that yet. I yeah. think it probably happens more at night and stuff. Yeah, but still, hopefully. You can go diving with pressure sharks here in the Philippines as well. That's yeah, quite common. Yeah, not far from here. But we haven't got a diver's license, so me and Joe have said we're going to go back to the UK, get our diving license, and then we'll be back out here ASAP, and we're going to island hop and uh, dive. dive everywhere. We, but we don't want to do the whale sharks in... I can't remember my count. Because it's unethical, so they will try and sell you like loads of tours here. But I'll, I would recommend to not do that. There's quite a few places you can see whale sharks ethically in the Philippines, like Don Sol. And stuff. Yeah, it's... you have to travel quite a bit to get to them areas. But um, it's a bit more special as well because they're not being fed. Yeah, that's my main issue, and not feel like I'm. And you can usually mm -hmm. tell when people have been uh, to where they feed them because they're usually vertical, hanging in the water. When we saw them in the mold well, we saw one in the Maldives, didn't we? Two. Technically, yeah, I suppose two. But the first one we saw was actually just swimming, and then it just suddenly went dipped down. And it was incredible how fast it just went below yeah. without that any was, effort at all. We just that was just us like coming across that. That's n nothing brought that whale shot to us, no feeding or anything. So we were very lucky to see that. Yeah. Joe will attach a little video here. Yes. Of it. My GoPro is still that way. She was off, she was like a fish that day. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend coming here. Especially... Like says, it doesn't look like much, so don't let that put you off thinking that it's not your typical crystal blue water. But if you love sea life, this is the place to be. Yeah, really. if, you're, if you're looking for beaches and a nice... Oh, to be fair, the town's quite nice. Mm. 
people are like there might be some nice nightlife here as well if that's what you're yeah, into yeah but like beaches and blue sea you need to be going to El Nido and stuff but sea life here is yeah. the place to be Ooh. Move out the way for an Instagram shot. Chickens. Hello. There is a small chance the second GoPro of the trips just died. So that's great. It was an old one though. Just a little GoPro fit there. Eh? Thank you. We don't know what it is, but we know it's a mango flow. Yeah, so as long as it's got mango in, we're usually alright. It's very cold, ice cold, so I think it's quite oh, a freezer. Yeah. I think it's ice cream. We'll see. Looks interesting either way. We've got foam around, seeing other people eat. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not Come on, Come on. Come on. Why is it, wherever we go, there's always somebody welding or grinding something? There's a lot of construction going off at the minute. It's always bright or loud, especially when we're tired in the morning. It's always on the road. Mmm, -hmm. lattes again.
salty fingers. Oof. Ah, oh, rock pools. <laughs> That is a lot of jalapenos. Nice and spicy. <laughs> We've just pointed out to somebody snorkeling that there was a turtle over there and they went and found it. Those are turtles that keep popping their Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea to have an overview when, uh, when you're snorkeling to point things out to you. 